heat too is actually causing a bit of a phenomenon. It's causing trees to split and crack and it's called summer limb drop. Let's go to our Tim Becker live now. And Tim, you actually came across an example of this uh, on your way into work this morning. Yeah, I did. That's why we're doing this story tonight. Of course, crews have since cleared the area, but much of the day, Southeast 28th or 27th rather, was completely closed after the silver maple tree over my shoulder here provided yet the latest example of how summer limb drop can happen when it gets really hot. Before cleanup crews arrived, I've never seen anything like it. Neighbor Kenny Asher got a Friday surprise. He heard the large crack, looked up the street, giant tree limb comes down. A sizable limb shutting down traffic and breaking the back window of a car across the street. It's a phenomenon. It's, nobody knows why. You know, mature trees, it seems to happen a lot more. Dustin Marcello. This is yeah. very typical branch outside the canopy. Is a certified arborist with Wind Thin Tree Services. He tells me they've been dealing with a lot of limb drops over the last couple of weeks. Hot dry times. That's when we typically see it. This huge tree narrowly missed a person downtown a couple of years ago. Different time, same thing, and it's not lack of rainfall or water. When they take a look at these branches, there's, there's documentation where water has poured out. So it's not a real moisture issue. No one's sure why, but theories do abound for how a perfectly healthy limb like this one comes crashing down. That's why they call it a phenomenon. I mean, they just don't know why. Leaves have openings, kind of like we have pores. Those openings release oxygen and moisture, but Marcello believes when it gets hot and stays hot, they close up and go into moisture preservation mode. The plant's like, nope, we're shutting that down. We got to save water. And all of a sudden, pressure builds up. And then pop. Well, Marcello says all the watering in the world won't necessarily help alleviate the situation because it doesn't change the environment that the leaves are living in. As long as it's 90 degrees or above and continues to stay that way, he says we'll continue to see this. Live in Southeast Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. Interesting stuff there, Tim. Thank you.